Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a very quick review on the hair that I have on my head. I just finished braiding my hair last night and the hair that I used is the Outre Batik Reggae Braids in the color 1B. I don't necessarily know how long this hair is but if I was to guess I would say it's about 20 to 22 inches because I did cut it in the middle and I brushed it out for volume and length and this is the length that I got from that this is what the hair looks like so the batik reggae braid it has kinky texture it it's very soft it has a little bit of a human hair feel to it I used three packs of hair and this is all that I have left from it um, like I said I did cut it down the middle and I brushed it out but with this hair it kind of reverts back to the way it is originally which is the single strands but the tip didn't revert like the tip looks exactly like it is after being brushed out but it does give it a bit of length but it kind of thins out a lot which I don't really like like it's good that it thins out because it helps with getting like a layered ends but it really does thin out a lot and when I'm braiding I end up adding extra hair to it which I'm not a big fan of <laughs> it was probably not a great idea to cut it down the middle because right now it's pretty much on the edge of being at the same length of my hair which is good and bad I mean it's good for some people if they kind of wanted to stop where the hair where their hair is at but I like mine a little longer so right now it's a tad bit longer than my hair but not a whole lot so if I do it a second time I'm probably just going to braid it without cutting it now in comparison to actually Cuevana I do prefer the Cuevana because it's easier to brush it and I feel like I got a lot more length with the Cuevana after brushing it than I did with the Batik. They are very very similar, very similar. I just feel like this Batik braid is a bit more coarse than the Cuevana braid. It could also be because it's called a reggae braid, I don't really know but that's just what I observed. I do like the texture because it feels exactly like my hair which is a 4C but I would let you know right now it gets matted really really fast it really does and it tangles up a lot you can see this one is already tangled and yeah in terms of movement yeah, I don't really have a lot of movement with this hair there's a bit of movement but it's not a whole lot it was worse before dipping it in hot water so what I did is I just made the ends coily by weaving it and dipping it in hot water and then unraveling it to get the coils that you see right now and that's about it like i said it's not a lot of mo movement it just it kind of just gets matted a little bit but if i shake it out i mean it <laughs> it moves um i think it has a little more movement than the outre Cuevana does yeah so that's kind of a plus overall I love it it's very lightweight it's not as lightweight as the Outre Cuevana because that one literally feels like you have nothing on your head at all with this yeah I kind of feel that I have a little something on my head but it's so light it's ridiculous and I love that in terms of braid I'm a big fan of braids that are very lightweight and not really heavy because I don't want things to trigger my migraine I deal with it enough as it is with the three sessions I don't need any further trigger so to speak I did get a migraine last night from braiding this hair my scalp was very sore but that could just be because of the process of getting it done or because I had a very stressful week but that was just my observation I really I really love this hair and I am definitely going to use it again I have about four or five packs of this in a color four so that's what I'll be using the next time I use this hair I bought this hair from Sam's Beauty website I paid $3.99 a pack for the black I bought four packs of hair I believe and I also bought it in a color four I was able to just buy a whole bunch of hair and different brands last year is what I did to save money. I spent almost $200 in buying all the hair in one sitting but I wanted to avoid having to go back and buying little chunks and paying shipping fee all the time so I just wanted to do it in one sitting and 
know that I have enough hair for the whole of 2019 so that was a good thing for me so I didn't pay shipping with this hair another good thing about this hair is that because of the texture it's very very easy to grip so the gripping process was a lot easier than the last hair that I used overall beautiful hair I love it I made this review because I had not seen a lot of reviews with using this hair to do like small braids. Most of the reviews I saw were like Marley hair or Havana twist or just chunky twist or box braids and I kind of wanted to see a review for like regular size twist or like regular size kinky twist, small kinky twist, medium size. So I figured I'm going to try it out, see how it looks and then make this review. Okay, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.